Hey there guys, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatari, and today we've got the Xiaomi Redmi 4 X. I thought that you guys might want to take a look at this phone. Now, let me mention a couple of things. First of all, this phone is approximately $150, and I think they've got some pretty amazing specs, specifically, you know, compared to the price. So, let's take a look at what's inside the box. You might be wondering, hey Khalifa, hey Mr. Q, where is the phone? The phone's over there, but first of all we can see that we've got a micro USB, we've got a SIM ejector tool, also known as a toothpick, also known as a paperclip, and then of course we've got one of these different wall warts so that we can charge our device. So let me put this to the side, and for you eagle-eyed viewers, you might have noticed, wait a minute, it says three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of ROM, that's the memory, why? Well, because they've got a number of different variations. The 16 gig version comes with two gigs of RAM, 32 with three, and I think the 64 is with four gigs. Now, I don't like that, I prefer it if companies would just simply give us four gigs of RAM, however, don't forget, this is, you know, a $500 phone. Of course, it varies based on the specs. Now, if you also notice on the right-hand side, it says global version. That's because there are a number of different versions. So make sure that you do your research and make sure that you select a similar model to this one right over here. Now, let me just tell you really quickly, when it comes to the overall quality of the device, it really feels good. It feels nice to hold in the hand. I really like it. I like it a lot. And of course, it is made of aluminium. Let's talk about some of the specs, though. In regards to the height of the phone, it is 139.2 millimeters. The width is 70 millimeters. And then the thinness is 8 Point seven millimeters. In regards to the screen, the screen is 5 inches and the resolution 720 by 1280 pixels. Some of you might be wondering, wait a minute, but that's not cool. It's not like full HD or quad HD or whatever HD you want to say. <laughs> Guys, don't worry about it, especially when it comes to the pixels per inch is 294. If we compare this to the iPhone, the iPhone 750 by 1334, I think, which comes to 326 ppi. Of course, I wish that it was slightly higher in terms of pixel per inch, but it's not bad, guys. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Now, what else can I talk about? In regards to the weight, it's 150 grams. The main camera right above, right up here, we can see is around 13 megapixels. It is 13 megapixels. The front-facing camera is 5 megapixels. We can record 1080p at 30 frames per second. Again, don't forget, this is $150, which is pretty cool. Now, in regards to the, the actual processor itself, it is a octa-core 1.4 gigahertz Snapdragon 435. And as I said, you can get this in 16 gigs, 32 or 64. Now, in regards to the system, what's it using? It's using Android. Wait, how are we gonna do this? It says swipe up. Okay, let's do what it says. It's using Android and it is uh, 6.0.1, that's Marshmallow. What else can I talk about, my lovely people? Let me go ahead and just quickly change a couple of settings on my camera so that we can see this clearer because I did adjust the white balance just a little bit. Okay, so let me just quickly go into white balance. Let me also mention, this has got a fingerprint scanner right over here at the back, which is cool, and it is, you know, can be quite fast. It is not a button, it is just a fingerprint scanner, and of course you've got those ca touch capacitive buttons at the very bottom. So, what else can we talk about? Does it have a headphone jack? Yes, indeed it does. Does it have a 4.2 Bluetooth? Yes, indeed it does. Does it have A2DP? Yes, it does. A GPS? Yes, it does. 4G? Yes, it does. And of course, as I said, in regards to the price, it is pretty good. So let me just go ahead, go over here, because we want to adjust that white balance just a little bit because you had the blue on the screen. Take a look at the screen. I think it's pretty nice. I think that they've done a pretty good job. It looks does look, of course, you know, quite familiar. Um, it looks kind of like, um, let's say, Xiaomi and Huawei and Apple had a baby, and then this is what came out. And I think you'll agree that it's actually looks pretty nice. So there you guys go. Oh, I've opened up the camera. Now this is just meant to be a quick look. I just wanted to show you what the phone looks like. I wanted to give you, you know, some nice close-ups of the device itself. As I said, it is quite light. 
left hand side this is where we could put in the sim card and i believe it is dual sim card as well or you can put in a micro sd if you wanted to at the bottom of course we all wish that it had usb c because that's where everybody is moving to right now but we've got micro usb on the other side we've got a power button and we've got the volume button now one of the nice things about this power button is it's not so soft that you might push it by mistake and i really appreciate that so that's cool and let's go back home and of course if you wanted to you can adjust the themes you can download all the apps that you wanted to from the android store of course guys don't forget that they have gone with the miui um, skin um, and the reason why a lot of people like it is because they like the apple interface but they prefer android now also i should mention one of the things that they've done that a lot i wish a lot more you know companies had done as well is that you can pull down anyway anywhere so that you can open up this menu or you can pull down the notification shade i appreciate that i wish that more companies did that so anyway this was just meant to be a really quick look at the redmi 4x by xiaomi what do i think of the phone first impressions actually it's pretty nice i like it i like it a lot i think it's pretty cool and especially for a price point you can't go wrong Anyway, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video but you appreciated the effort, give me a thumbs up too. If you want to see the latest videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Take care.